So now we're going to be looking at part C and D. Part A and B are in one video, it's the previous video, in the playlist linked below the like button. I did notice though, in that video I did not talk too much about, although I did mention it a little bit, about the dot right here and what this plus is, nor did I mention really this bar right here. So when we have our bar on top of some numbers like this, this bar was kind of like the not. So it's the complement or we're inverting it. If we have a dot between two numbers, that means we have an and. So it's basically saying this number and this number. And then when we have a plus between two numbers, this is an or. So we have this number or this number. And it's important to keep that in mind it doesn't really affect the problem, but it is um, important to know. Now we're going to be looking at part C. So for part C, we know, just as we had for part A, we have this F, and it's going to be equal to our W times the X. So we're gonna have the W and X. Then we have a parenthesis. We have a Y naught and a Z, or our Y and Z naught. We then have our closing parenthesis. We will then have our w naught times, or the and, our x naught. We have the parenthesis, and then inside of here we have our y naught, or z. We have our closing parenthesis, then an open parenthesis, and inside of here we have y or z. So this is going to be our f. Now we know that we want to take the complement of it, so we're going to take the naught of it. We're putting the bar over the entire thing. And now we are going to have to separate this and use De Morgan's theorems to solve for this, or to um, find the complement. So looking at this, well, we have some number here. We have a plus, and we have some number here. So if we look at De Morgan's theorem, it looks like it's going to be the first one. So we can rewrite this. We have our f naught, and this is equal to Let's look at the first one. When we um, do De Morgan's theorem, it becomes multiplication or an and. So we would have an and in the middle there. So we would basically have our not operator over the first part, which would be the w, x, y naught, z, y, z naught. And then we'll have our dot here, which basically means multiplying. That's why I'm keeping the parentheses. We're going to have the w naught, x naught, y naught plus z, and then we have the y plus z naught. And so now we've separated them. And now we can look at them individually. So we're going to look at this part uh, first. We'll just look at this part first, and then we will look at the right hand side. So looking at this part, it seems that we have some number. We have it times this other number. So it's going to be the second De Morgan theorem. Coming down here, we have f naught is equal to, and when we rewrite this, we're going to have our w, x, and this is all under one naught. We are then going to have a plus, or an or, and then we have another naught, and then underneath here, we have our y naught z plus our y z naught. And then, well, let's look at the next part over here. And this part, I just realized that I forgot a parenthesis, and it's a closing parenthesis. But in here, it seems like, well, we have a number times a number times a number. So what we can do for here is, well, first in case this in parentheses, because we're still having this um, initial multiplication in here. And then we can say, well, we know this looks like the second one, but the second one only has an A and B. If we had a C in here, we would just have a plus C like that. So what we can do here is say, well, we have our naught, we have our naught uh, w times the naught x, we then have the plus, we have our naught, we have our y naught plus z, and then we have our plus the naught y plus z naught. And so that's what that going to look like. And we've separated quite a good deal, but we still have more to go. We have to separate this, we're then going to look at the next part, but again, I'll do these uh, individually just so it makes a little bit more sense. 
So we're looking at the current one we have underlined. We have f naught, and this is equal to, we have our number times a number underneath the same naught, so this is the second De Morgan's theorem. We are going to have our naught x plus our naught w, or this should be a naught w plus naught x. And then we're going to keep these in parentheses. And then inside of here, and now we are going to look at the next part. So the only thing that separates them is a plus. And for this next part, well, we have some number. We'll just have a number plus some number. And this is all under the naught. So this is going to be De Morgan's first theorem. And then we are going to have our naught. We're going to have our y naught times z. We are going to have this be multiplied by our naught. And then underneath that is the y z naught. So that's what that's going to transform into. We are then going to have our closing parenthesis, and then we are going to start off with this next part. Well, looking at this next part, we have some number times some number underneath a naught. So this looks like the second De Morgan theorem. That means we are going to have our w naught naught plus our naught naught x. And then we are going to have a plus, and now we can look at the next part which is this part. And we can see that it is basically some number plus some number underneath a naught, so it's going to be the first De Morgan's theorem. We're going to have y naught naught. We are then going to have this be multiplied by z. And lastly, we are going to look at this one. And looking at this one, we have the same thing. So we're just going to write this out. We have our y naught practically times the z naught naught. And this is our equation. Now we can see there's only a little bit left to go. We've gotten rid of the naught over basically all of them, except for this part and this part. So we're going to have to look at these now. We're going to start off with this part. And so we're going to write this out. We have our f with a complement over it is equal to our w and our plus x is complete. And when we look at the part that we have underlined, we have some number times some number underneath the naught. This looks like De Morgan's second theorem. So we are going to do this. We are writing this out as y naught naught. We have a plus naught z. And then this is being multiplied. So we can put this inside of parentheses. And then we're going to be looking at the next part where we have this right here. And this right here is the same thing basically. Actually, it is the same thing. So we're going to have not y plus z not not. And then this is being multiplied once we close these parentheses by everything to the right. And now we can simplify. We know a not not of w is just a w. Same thing for the x. And then we have the y, which is going to be the same thing. So we're going to have y times z, or we can just write this as y times z. I did forget a not over this z. Um, I did not carry it over from here. So we should have a not over this z. And so it'll look like this. Again, the not over the z comes from this bar. And the bar is the reason why we have the double not over our y. And then we're going to have a plus. We have our y not times z. And since z is a double not, we just have it like this. And so this is almost our answer. We just need to simplify the left side, this part specifically. So we're going to have the complement of f is equal to our w naught plus our x naught. We're going to have plus our y plus our z naught. This is in parentheses because it's being multiplied by the y naught plus z. And then all of this is being multiplied by the w plus x plus y naught z plus Actually, I wrote that wrong. It should be y and then z naught plus y naught times z. And so this is going to be the answer for part c. You can see it was a lot longer than the other ones. And that's because we had a much bigger expression. Part d is going to be a little bit similar, but I think a little bit more fun than this. And that will actually be in the next video because this one was pretty long and we've done pretty good for part C. Um, remember the not and 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 or theory up here and that is how you would solve for part C. Again, use De Morgan's theorem for it.